I'm just so impressed at the engineering and the ingenuity that's gone into creating the Tideway Tunnel. The construction site's just about all done and now we're in the finishing stage. We built the drop shaft um, and also the main interception chamber here. Once we finished that, we started building the kiosk and the uh, architectural features surrounding that kiosk. This is the end product, which I think we're all pretty proud of. Since I was first sort of engaged with the Tideway project, actually, I found it really impressive the way they want to work with local communities. This wonderful piece of artwork, it really reflects the history of Barnes as being a home of Frances Walsingham, who was Queen Elizabeth I's chief spy. And that's why we have these references to code, can really recapture and reflect Barnes's past while we're celebrating this marvellous new piece of infrastructure. And today we've got two local primary schools with us. Within this event today we'll be talking to them about the Bug Hotel, about the plants that we've planted and how that helps the local ecology of the area. Bugs and creatures, they're just part of the world and we need to help them like the people help us. Oh, I do, I do like a hedgehog. My favourite is the roots because they're cute. This is one of the sites where we've really aim to increase the biodiversity of what is already a lovely green wooded part of West London. Two, one. Quite a lot of the time in politics we're used to the idea that we talk about infrastructure and protecting the environment as being in conflict and I think what's really wonderful about the Tideway project is how it's really demonstrated that that doesn't have to be the case. We've got this amazing new piece of infrastructure going right through the centre of London and it's going to have a positive impact on the health of our major river.